Okay, now this is the absolute lifting jacking thing. This should make me able to remove wheels from here. Yes, it works. Bentornati, welcome back to the Cataclysm. In the previous episode, we managed to survive an epic fight with a couple of Graboids. And right after that, we found this awesome mechanized infantry carrier. From now on, MIC. Just because mechanized infantry carrier is too long. And we are gonna convert this into our next mobile base. So, let's get to it. 6 liters of diesel in one of the external tanks. And I guess before, before we start working on this, let's siphon that out. Siphon. From here, fill the nearby Humvee. I think we have to do this... No, it's okay. We, we did it in just one go. Cool. So, first order of things would be to mount our wheels on this. And the, the engine is good. The battery is a little bit damaged, but it's okay. We would just need to fill it. Or we can just transfer our own batteries on this. So we are good for that. Now this thing, this thing would run on eight wheels. Uh, but I think we can still get it to move with just four. The muffler is gone, so it's it's gonna make noise. It has a couple of mufflers actually. Okay, though, in order to work on the wheels, we need that um, that boom crane. So can can we actually? Do I have all the materials to make a movable a movable boom crane? That would be ideal, right? If I can make a foldable, movable boom crane, that's gonna help us immensely uh, when we wanna work on vehicles. So let's start working or looking into that. Uh, if I go to crafting and I want to make a foldable light frame, it just requires four pipes. Don't I have something like that already though? Frame. I have an extra light frame. Do I have wheels? Do I have casters? I don't. So I would also. So I, ca I can make the foldable light frame. I need some sort of wheels though. Can I make casters? No. Okay, the thing is, I don't necessarily need wheels. If it's foldable, I can un unfold it in place where I, where I need it. I don't really need to drag it around, don't I? So that's not a huge problem if I can't make casters or wheels or things things like that. So I just need the foldable light frame and I'm gonna do it right now. Uh, I need to get... yes, I am close to my workbench, that's good. So foldable light frame coming. That's it, it's done. Now I need... that foldable light frame with me. I drop it in here. Actually, let me drop a bunch of stuff that I have on me for some reason. Okay, now I want to locate that boom crane. Or just steel boom, I guess. That I'm gonna turn into a boom crane. I'm overburdened, I drop the steel boom in here. Now I think I need to get get my makeshift arc welder, yes please. Now I need to start the vehicle, so start vehicle construction. I have one foldable light frame, start the vehicle in here with a foldable light frame. Enter the new vehicle name. I want to call it foldable crane. Okay, 
you finished construction now I can interact with it and examine the vehicle we have the foldable light frame and on this I want to install an internal boom crane here it is a rigid steel boom crane this is in your line of sight and blah 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 S40 jacking quality S40 lifting quality that's what we want it takes an hour let's do it installing this part will make the vehicle unfoldable really let me look this up like this used to work oh I think I get it it's not the boom crane that makes for the foldable thing but the telescopic cantilever and can I do that oh I could make that with eight pipes I need six where can I find pipes maybe in here short hike to the rural house oh we are saved these are pipes Lantern on. Can we make this telescopic cantilever now? This can lift up to 3.5 metric tons. Is this gonna be enough? I don't know. But we can for sure try. Let's make this. Uh, we need some scrap metal, I guess. Alright, we also memorize the recipe for the telescopic cantilever. I guess. Now, examine vehicle. Install. Okay, with that, I can make a telescopic crane. It's not gonna be as good as the internal boom crane, though. Internal boom crane is 20 tons. This is gonna be 3.5 tons. So, is it gonna work? Who knows? But we're gonna have a foldable telescopic crane. All right. So this vehicle is a thing now and it is foldable. So we can pick pick it up and move it. For example, we can drop it here or actually unfold it here. Yes. Now this will allow us for sure to take a wheel of the Humvee. Will it allow us to attach that wheel on this bad boy though? So let's see, can I use this now to remove this armored wheel? No. It's not enough. I need a tool with jack in 12. And the telescopic cantilever, wait a second, the telescopic cantilever has jack in, ah, it's seven. Seven, okay. So no, it's not enough. So tell you what. Let's fold this again. We pick it up and we... We drop it in here for, for a second. Um, together with the pipes. So it's useful. It's not what we need in this very second. However, I can attach the boom crane to the Humvee. I think. And that will let us work on the uh, mechanized infantry carrier. Let's try that. So let's look at the Humvee. And we want to install in here the boom crane. Alright, so the Humvee has a boom crane. Can I now remove your wheels? Yes! So let's start by removing these um, damaged wheels. Right, there's been a little bit of back and forward. I 
a real-time week has passed since I recorded the uh, previous section and I'm now picking up this again. So, we just took out the four damaged wheels from this guy. It is now time to see if we can make this into a functional vehicle. So, we will need to take out the good wheels out of our Humvee and uh, put them in the new one. Before doing that though, let me uh, take care of my hunger for a second. Be right back. All right, full and turgid, we can now start working on this. So examine vehicle. 32 inch armored wheels need to come off. So remove. Oh, wait a second, I can't use... I can't use the boom crane that is installed in here. I see, apparently I have to switch this around. Although, now that I think about this, it's probably better if I create a temporary vehicle, even if it's not foldable, uh, and attach the boom crane to that. Also because our foldable, um, our foldable cantilever, I think it's, uh, it has 14, so it's not enough. Uh, let's take a look at that again. Oh, not even that, it's just seven. So what if I grab this? I could temporarily stick the boom crane on the telescopic cantilever. I know it doesn't make much sense, but it definitely works. I mean, I, I hope it does. So let's take the, take the uh, boom crane off from here. Remove this, 24 minutes, okay. And now, examine this vehicle and install it in here. I don't, mm, actually, I don't know how this vehicle is oriented at the moment, so let's do it like this, salmon. And I, I guess the top is, this is the top now? Hmm, hard to say. Okay, install. Boom crane. One hour. It's okay. Do it. It will make it unfoldable. Yes. It is okay for now, if it is unfoldable. Okay, now this is the um, absolute lifting, jacking thing for a second. So, this should make me able to remove wheels from here. Yes, it works. So, remove this. And this. And this one. Okay, so now in here I have four 32 inch wide armored wheels and now I'm going to install those in the MIC okay we are gonna have wheel hub assembly uh, where the wheels need to go so it's not really we don't really have much of a choice and this uh, one at the top or to, towards the front of the vehicle are steerable because that is um this is a quality of the uh, wheel hub assembly so install Armored wheel, takes 10 minutes, install, armored wheel, and then let's do, where do we have wheel hub assembly in here, install, armored wheel, install, armored wheel. Okay, look at this now. It says wheels enough. So this now qualifies as a working vehicle. It has a seat, it has controls, 
It has a five point harness, which is the advanced um, belt, basically. All the tanks are draining. This is a little bit of a problem, actually. Now, the external tanks. I don't think I want to use the external tanks for fuel. I think I'm gonna put one or two internal tanks. So I think I'm gonna repair this internal 10 liter tank for diesel. I may want more diesel than that, actually. I can probably move a 60 liter one, but uh, this uh, external ones, I, I could have one for water, for example. And the other one, I don't know, something else. Wine? <laughs> I'm sure we will need some uh, vehicle in good quantities sooner or later. I can proceed though and take out all the seats. I don't need this many seats. Also, so many recharging stations. I only need one. And let me see, what is this? It's a stow board. Okay, I can, we can use the stow board for now. But all the interior in here is gonna be either uh, utility, uh, so like tools, or cargo carriers. There's no point in having internal stow boards, also because being stow boards impassable. All right, let's start by taking off all the seats, but um, let's say all the seats, but two. Okay, let's take a look at this now. Right, so what I'm thinking is there should be a cargo carrier in here with the recharger, the same way we did on our Humvee. Now the thing is, of course I, I can't take out these four rechargers, absolutely, so let's, let's start doing that, let's take out all the rechargers. Alright. Okay, we have these temporary boxes in here. I guess they're okay. Now, where where is the 10 liter tank located exactly? Okay, it's in here, under the gunner seat. Can I repair that first of all? I can, using the soldering iron, which is cool. About five minutes, yes, do it. Okay, for the big ones I need the makeshift arc welder. And it's probably... Ooh, look at this, we are thirsty and very hungry again, let me take care of that. Alright, we're full again. So let's think about this now. I think I want my crafting bench in here. Just because that way I could maybe use the... Um, the lights in here. This thing is supposed to have... Dome lights, yes. I could even use the dome lights for crafting if I have the crafting bench in here. So crafting bench in here, recharging station with all the power tools and the batteries in here. Yes, that makes sense, I think. So let's take out the crafting bench from here. First of all, do we have any uh, thing in there? We probably do. So let's move everything outside. Then Workbench. I say crafting bench like in Minecraft is a workbench, which is the same thing in the end, but um, Remove is one of what I want to do. Remove this. 10 minutes. Good. Then We pick it up And we install it in here Takes about nine minutes. 
Makes sense. We, we're probably just bolting it down. Nice. Okay. I think we, we can start moving there. The oil lamp. The reading light. I still see we know. I don't think we need anymore because we have the tailor's kit. The toolbox. Okay, this, this stuff. Now, um, the options are, I could install here in here the cargo carriers that I already have, which should be enough to move everything I own at the moment, all the loot, also because I have extra boxes. Yeah, that actually makes sense. And then, I can just start using this and go find more cargo carriers. Yeah, we're gonna do that, we're gonna do that. So. A lot of stuff will need to go on the ground now. And it's gonna take a long time to... Uh, a long time to move it. Let's see what happens if I just remove one of these cargo spaces. I guess all the items are gonna go on the ground. So remove... Cargo space. Ooh, wait! The items are in the cargo carriers. Oh, nice. Oh, there's not nothing to grab? Because it's not a vehicle, right? It's not a vehicle. Is it close enough that I can install it now? Yes. Okay, first cargo carrier installed. And all the all the items are in here now. Yes. A ton of items. Alright, just need to do the same for, for all the cargo carriers. Okay, I think I want to remove this box for a second. Yeah, let me do that. This box, remove. Okay, and then I want to... Ooh, the heavy duty frame is destroyed in here. This is probably not good. And I can... I need a heavy duty frame to repair it. I can take a heavy duty frame out of this vehicle. For example, what if I remove a heavy duty trunk door? Yeah, that's gonna give me the heavy duty frame. And the arc welder needs more charge. I think we need to swap batteries. So unload, makeshift arc welder, drop the medium battery in here, and let's search for batteries. Medium, high capacity. Reload, nothing to read. Nothing to, what, what? Reload, not read. Makeshift arc, blah, 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 blah. Makeshift arc welder. Reload. Okay. Can I replace this heavy duty frame now? It takes 32 minutes. It's okay. Do it. Okay. Now, can I install the cargo space in here? Yes. Cool. So, three cargo carriers installed. And I think I want to use these other spaces for um, what am I thinking about? For the for the utilities, of course. So let me think. So we're gonna need a mini fridge, and the mini fridge could go in 
here. Mini fridge, a chemistry set, and we are gonna also need at some point the uh, forge right now the the chemistry set we can also uh, at some point upgrade into a uh, food co uh, food processor and also because like the chemistry set can can be just an item you don't need an installed chemistry set really the only um the only utility uh, it's providing right now is the hot plate whereas the food processor does a bunch of other things like it has food dehydrator and stuff like that maybe also vacuum uh vacuum sealer okay mini fridge chemistry set slash food processor forge but also we need the autoclave so i'm not gonna use this now but I need another cargo carrier in here to reinstall the um, battery charger. Okay, let's let's do that. So let's start by removing this charging station and the cargo space. Install the cargo space. And install the recharging station. Right. Okay, okay. It's taking uh, shape. Okay, I, I need to move all the power generation. So, all the batteries at first and then uh, the solar panels. And I'm thirsty and very hungry again. <laughs> so let's take care of that. Right. Let's start moving some of the batteries. Now there is one car battery in here. Can I repair this? Yes, and it takes only two minutes. Then... I can have car batteries in all these spaces. So let's do that. Install, car battery. Install, car battery. Install, car battery. And I have more, so let's... Let's go crazy with this. I can have one under the gunner's seat. Yes, I can. Now, let's turn on the recharger. And I guess we can start moving all the stuff that needs recharging in the recharger. What? So this thing has a lot of charge now. Doesn't have a lot of power generation. So I'm thinking I can move a couple or maybe three uh, solar panels and then I move the fridge. And with the fridge I have to be quick, otherwise all my food is gonna start spoiling. All right, let's start removing solar panels. Okay, I got three solar panels out. Let's start from the back portion. Install solar panel. It is night. We're starting to get tired. Mm, I tell you what, I can maybe go a little bit longer. Let's take let's take our uh, stuff, our electrical lantern. This lasts a while. Activate this. How long does it take to install a solar panel? 54 minutes. Okay, we'll do this and then we'll uh, sleep. Right. It's now 11 p.m.
we can eat something just right before going to bed. Okay, we're full. Turn off the electric lantern. Get in the new vehicle. And... Hmm, this thing will need uh, some form of... Um, how's, how they're called? Um, curtains. I need to put curtains on this tile. But not for now. So let's go grab the... Whatchamacallit, the blindfold. Okay. Can we sleep well in this vehicle? Do we need a blanket? Let's, let's grab a blanket too. Okay, then wear the blindfold. And go to sleep. Wanna save the game? Yeah, sure. Let's have... 8 hours. Something's beeping. Drop the blindfold. It is day. We are really hungry. Let me eat something at random. Right, full again. Now, how's this thing doing? It's doing okay. The solar panels are, are working. I've got the third solar panel to install in here. Good, now we have three solar panels active. One could do with a little bit of repairing if only I had electronics six, which I don't. Now, I think it's time. It's time to move the mini fridge. Mini fridge goes in here. Okay, mini fridge, remove. Mini fridge, install. Okay, cool. Let's turn it on. Turn on the fridge. So, fridge and recharger. And batteries are still charging, it seems. Now we gotta move all the food. Alright, so this is all the perishable food I care to move. Batteries are doing okay. Then, the chemistry station. The onboard chemistry lab remove. Install. This goes uh, close to the fridge, however, we need to remove this, this box first. And then install onboard chemistry lab cool cool I like it again I'm very hungry this is hard work all right with that out of the way with that out of the way we move uh, we move the remaining solar panels Am I getting any skill at all from this? Hard to tell. Maybe a little bit. Maybe some mechanics. And again, I'm very hungry and thirsty. At 
this point, it's just a matter of moving a bunch of stuff. Let me see, is there anything else of functional? Oh, of course, the fuel. Let's not forget the fuel. Do I have a spare 60 liter tank somewhere? I have a 2 liter metal tank. I have a 60 liter metal tank of clean water. And one of a gas. How much gasoline is in there though? 17 liters. I could move that. Uh, will this and then drop it in here I could move that gasoline in this in 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 one of the external tanks um to do that though I need to reload my makeshift arc welder so that uh, I need to unload that uh, battery first I uh, drop this then reload shift arc welder with this one so let's repair these two external tanks okay I could put clean water in one gas in the other how do I do this again do I need to activate or maybe unload unload the clean water fill nearby vehicle yes so let's do clean water in this one this one I don't know it's the same Okay, this is now free. Now, gasoline, fill nearby vehicle. In here. Was that all? Yes, gasoline, 17 liters. Now, I can start installing these two 60 liter uh, metal tanks inside so that we can use that for diesel, actually. So where's the 10 liter at? In here. I'm thinking maybe I should remove this 10 liter and replace that with a 60 liter. So remove this. Install. 60 liter vehicle tank. So one under this seat. And can I put another under this? This one? Yes. All right. Now I have two 60 liter metal tanks. One is slightly, slightly damaged. I can repair it in six minutes. Let's do that, okay. Now, now I want to siphon this diesel in the MIC. A little bit at a time. Until we are done. Cool. I can also siphon all this clean water that's in here. Okay, cool, cool. And of course we're very hungry again. Alright, now what? Oh, the remaining batteries, of course. We still have some batteries in here. So this style has a battery, this has a battery, this... Uh, this has not. So I can put a car battery in here. Let's 
So we have six already. I can have more. I can have one in here. And I don't have any more car batteries. Okay, so all the car batteries are in. And the rest of the overhaul of this fantastic vehicle I am splitting into a second part. But don't worry, you will not have to wait for another full week before being able to see me actually driving this baby. For now though, thank you so much for watching and I am gonna see you again in the next episode. Alla prossima!